guys welcome back to my channel Simone here and I first wanted to start this video off just by saying that I hope that you are all being safe and um yeah I, it's a scary time guys um and I'm sure you're all aware of that um I'm currently on day five yeah of self-isolation uh because I had symptoms and you can probably still hear it I don't I'm not feeling the best I've felt in a really long time um I have a really bad headache too so I'm like trying not to frown um but yeah just wanted to um, just make sure that you guys are all doing okay um, and please let me know if there's anything I can do if any of you um, feel free to message me on any Instagram Twitter anything like that um, or you can leave me a comment or whatever um, if you need anything or if I can help in any way um, because yeah even if it's just someone to talk to because this has been a particularly scary um, time I think and this is the first video so I've had a few videos go up during this time obviously but um this is the first video I'm actually filming in this sort of climate I guess and it's it's quite scary so I thought today I would do a bit of a fun video my um chocolate and book delivery just arrived and um it was a little bit sobering because um the post lady or post woman had to put this on the doorstep and then like stand meters back or whatever um as I opened the door but she did say stay safe excuse me um and I obviously said the same and um yeah I feel like yeah it's not really hit me fully yet because I've been self-isolated since you know the beginning of the week but anyway long story short this has arrived I thought it'd be really fun to unbox this and um yeah I also just wanted to say a massive massive thank you to everyone who's just been so so lovely um in this whole situation anyway we're gonna unbox this video uh this video we're gonna unbox this box what else are you gonna do with a box um and I'm really excited about it um because it's chocolate and it's book so yep so let's open it up Where's the front? Oh, it has sellotape. Did it have sellotape last time? Let me open it. Okay. The sellotape has been ripped. Oh. Are we ready? And here we go. Oh. Here it is. So, again, we have the card as the same as last time this is the surprise box again um so yes we have a beautifully it's white i'm gonna put the book over there just because it is a bit see-through the paper this time and i don't really want to get spoiled so here we are so in this one we have oh i love these we have some i'm gonna put this down but you'll be able to see it in a minute anyway so we have lotus Biscoff biscuits. I didn't know that they do biscuits. I think maybe they do biscuits in every box now. They didn't do this um, I don't think last time I had them. Uh, last month they did but not last like previously. I love Lotus Biscoff. I'm so excited for these. I absolutely love it. They're my favourite. And also I'm really excited because the hot chocolate this time is the Galaxy Hot Chocolate which again is one of my favourite um, hot chocolates. I think it just, it's one of the ones that tastes the most like the chocolate. So I feel like, um, I've had the Maltese one before and I think because of the honeycomb to me, it doesn't really taste like Maltese or hot chocolate. It just tastes like Maltese, it doesn't taste like Maltese at all. Um, so I really love the Galaxy one for that. Okay, ooh, okay, this is interesting. So the chocolate this time is this one. It's called the Alexander Chocolate Ethical Bean to Bar Chocolate Smooth Milk Chocolate. I love milk chocolate, it's like my favorite type. I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate always, um, depending on what flavors are in it. If it's just plain, then I definitely am not a big fan. This just says, Alexander chocolate is made with ethics and quality held in the highest regard. From bean to bar, our products are produced with the utmost attention to detail. For more information about this British business, please visit our website, www.alexanderchocolate.co.uk. Vegetarian, 100 gram bar interesting I'm definitely interested about this um this just sounds like um like a plain chocolate like milk chocolate um I really like the foil on this so it's like a foil and then it's um got the thing on the outside I really like that I'm really excited to give it a go and yeah that's a good one for this month um so that's all that's in the box and um, here we have the book so let me look at the bookmark first shall I um so oh, put that there. oh it's quite a big 
like a long quote on this one. I really like the ribbon. Normally they come with like a little chain, but I actually really like the ribbon. I think it's really nice. So it says, oh, it's very windy outside. I like big books and I cannot lie. You other readers can't deny when a good book when a good book walks in with a good plot base and a big spine in your face, you get sprung. Wanna get out your notepads, cause you notice that book was dense. Deep in the book I'm reading, I'm hooked and I can't stop speeding through baby. I really tried then, did you know how? Baby got books at Virginia Beach Public Library. So I'll show you what that looks like. So that's really cool. And then nice blue ribbon and it's yellow, which is just delightful. Then we have book. Again, as I said previously, this one is see-through a little bit, so I can kind of see some of it. Um, I have no idea. But this is the surprise one, so I never know what genre I'm going to get. It has a gold ribbon, which I'm a fan of. Woo! What is this? <laughs> Ripped the paper. I've already seen on this back, it says the midlife answer to Adrian Mole, which I'm okay with, because <laughs> I love Adrian Mole. Okay, come on. I'm struggling. Here it is. What does it say? Diary of a Somebody by Brian Bilston. I have never heard of this. It's been blurred by Adam Kay, which I love Adam Kay. Um, oh, it's like a diary. Obviously, it says diary. But it's actually like a di diary excerpt, isn't it? Which is really interesting. Okay, let me read the back to you. <clears throat> Are you ready? It's January 1st and Brian Bilston's life needs to change. His ex-wife has taken up with a new man, a motivational speaker and marketing guru to boot. He seems to constantly disappoint his long-suffering son and at work he is drowning in a sea of spreadsheets and management jargon. Brian's resolution is to write a poem every day. Poetry will be his salvation. But there is an obstacle to his happiness in the form of Toby Salt, his arch nemesis at Poetry Club and rival suitor to Liz, Brian's new poetic inspiration. When Toby goes missing, Brian is the number one suspect. Part tender love story, part murder mystery, part coruscating description of a wasted life, and interspersed with some of the funniest poems about the mundane and the profound, Diary of a Somebody is a unique, original, and hilarious novel. This sounds really interesting. This is definitely not something I would have picked up otherwise, but I love that about Chocolate in a Book. Sometimes they give me books I wouldn't really, under, like, expect. I don't actually know what, like, um, genre this was from. But I'm really excited about it. This, um, like I said, part love story, part murder mystery. Sounds great. The diary element to it really intrigues me. And yeah, I love getting books that I don't know. I've like not heard anything about before. This is also part of the Costa Book Award shortlist, which is always interesting. Um, Dawn French. Nobody must find out about this unique gem because I'm giving it to everyone. And I want to appear clever and discerning. So yeah, that sounds really great. I am really looking forward to reading this one actually. This sounds really fun. And um, yeah, I'm excited. And that's another book unboxing that I am excited to read. So yes, a massive, massive, massive thank you to Chocolate and Book for still delivering, um, even though I know it's very difficult at the moment. That is my book unboxing um for today like i said i hope that you all stay safe and that you're doing well and i love you lots and i'll see you next time for another video bye guys